Hello, Sherry Brown with Next Home Real Estate Rockstars. Let's talk about first impression is everything. When selling your home, a buyer is going to decide typically within the first few minutes if they're interested enough in your home to look further. So whether it's curb appeal or how it appears online, that is so important. So when thinking about selling, you really have to focus on what is important and what is that first impression your home is giving off. So a few things to keep in mind. Every single room in the home should have a purpose. That way, a buyer can easily visualize the purpose for that space. If you have too many spaces that don't have a purpose, a buyer may feel the home is overwhelming or doesn't suit their needs because they're looking for something specifically. The other thing is curb appeal. When a buyer is thinking about your home, they're obsessing about it online, they may drive by after work or before work. When they drive by, they have to get that same good feeling inside that they're really excited to see more about the home. So make sure that your door is freshly painted on the outside, you've got nice pretty flowers, your landscape looks great, maybe hose off the driveway. You wanna just give that great first impression. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars to obtain this. You can do a couple easy DIY hacks to make the um, curb appeal look outstanding. Also, when it's time to take photos of your home, you want to make sure that the clutter is minimal. We like to say you want to have a very vanilla home or basic. The more basic or clutter-free your home is, the easier the buyer can visualize their stuff there. So again, the room should have a purpose, let's say the dining space, but the dining space shouldn't be overwhelmed with items around it or on the dining table. Keeping it nice and simple says, hey, the purpose of the room is the dining room, and that's about it. They can then visualize, oh, my table would fit there perfectly, or my hutch would fit nicely. You don't want to have an overwhelming amount of items throughout the home. In every bedroom, same thing. If you've got a children's room that has a lot of children's toys, that's fine. But what we like to recommend is put all those kids' toys in one of those tote boxes, stuck, stick it into the garage, and hide it for the day of photos. It's different when you walk through a home and see what is in a home versus how it looks online. Those pictures are tiny little thumbnails. So if you have a bedroom that's overwhelming with color and has a bunch of toys in it, that little thumbnail is gonna show a room that is very messy and small. When you clear it out for the sake of the photos, it's gonna look like a nice big open space. Now, when it's time to show your home, you wanna keep it minimal as well, but you can go back to living a little bit more. So I hope this helps. Remember, first impression is everything. And that's why the most important step to selling your home, first step is to have a realtor come over to your home, walk you through the home and figure out what do you need to do to sell and what do you need to do to, uh, to fix it to sell. Hope this helps. Give us a call if you'd like us to walk through your home. There's never a commitment until you say you wanna hire us. All right, talk to you soon. Take care, bye.